Um, so, what made you want to work with designers and graphics? Designers go graphic. Go graphic. Uh, when we were moving it into a print edition, we realised we need to get designers. So at that time, um, made a publication with Adam and Aggie before, where I found a local designer uh, through just through I think people only in Sheffield. Um, but we decided when we had funding for the um, uh, for the design um, for the, to put it into a book that we would ask a number of designers. Um, so we asked, um, in the end, the people who were interested was a, a, a someone in Birmingham who um, uh, produced um, art books, um, and then uh, two designers selling in the new in Switzerland. Um, whom they, they both bid for the thing, and Adam and I, um, uh, and Aggie, um, decided which one we liked the most, really. And the thing with their design that they've come up with, and since then I've gone on to, to be really close with uh, Sebi and the new, actually, it's been a really good working relationship, and we've formed a company off it, or a company, sounds a bit entrepreneurial, we've sat, we've found a small press off it, because we don't make any money, that's for sure. Um, uh, so my relationship with them has like uh, gone on and been quite uh, uh, interesting. I've got really interested actually in working with designers and writing. And, like uh, their, I mean their concept for Route Fifty Seven was taking it to the book. Um, it didn't change the the journal as it was online, um, but they did. It is they're very careful to essentially. It's, the same design each year, really, um, and that saves a lot of designing time. So it's got to be, you know, cost effective because it's really hard to um, print a book and sell it and even get your money back. I think, even with all the staff, as you know, all of the staff, students, etc., aren't paid at all for working on it. So, so even you know, with all that labour free, it's still a challenge. Yeah. Could you tell us more about Spirit Duplicator? Spirit Duplicator. A, a Spirit Duplicator is a sort of proto photocopier where the spirit is um, alcohol and a, you know, basically rub alcohol onto. Uh, 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 um, you get what you want to print and you print it in a sort of inky substance, you run out, rub alcohol onto it and it duplicates the stuff off. And it is what? I remember photocopies being, photocopies being at school, so it didn't have, especially at primary school, uh, sort of printed in this purplish colour. So the name is a bit retro, I suppose, and kind of evokes pretty much the, the, the 70s in, in, in that way. Um, and also it's a cool name, Spirit Duplicator, it's good, I like it. Um, uh, and the press itself, we've published nine or ten things so far, maybe this will be the tenth thing, or the ninth thing, I think. Um, and that press um, is a collaboration between four people, um, and it goes back to a long-standing collaboration I've got with Paul Barham in Doncaster, who I would say is a, a writer stroke artist. And that's, we were publishing pamphlets um, called the British Esperantist and various other things before um, Spirit Duplicator was founded with an artist called Matt uh, Pringle and, and Sevi and Manu. So it's a kind of complicated manoeuvring of kind of lives and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, so, so I suppose like Spirit Duplicator looks back to the, when Paul and I brought out the British Esperantist in 2014 and then Route 57 came along a bit later than that and then it kind of all came together. What's your favourite intern? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's interesting question because I've done it three years now and the quality as in not the quality as in what's good or bad but the, the qualities of the intern group is different each year, totally different. Um, so it's quite, it's, I really like doing this, this project as well, especially as I'm not assessing everyone, anyone, you know, so I feel like I can have, a, it's like a very nice relationship to have. Uh, uh, with the inter, uh, interns, that's a, okay, yeah, with the, um, with the editors, I'm going to call you editors, yeah, yeah. Um, but definitely each year is different.
different and the book is different each year. You're totally our best year. <laughs>